I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your ropes are you? You cannot hide behind this door forever! Drax, let it go! Nobody's stashing units! We shall see! Thanks for telling him. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine. Small marvel crafted. Now that that's done, can we get a move on, Jelly Legs? Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Any units I uncover will go directly to you. I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it... it's... an Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see.
Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. So, Drax, did you bring out your stash of hidden units? I do not hide my units in a stash, for I am not a rodent. Neither am I. You are rodent-like. And you're annoying-like. That is not a val- Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean... Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. We will seek to best the I mean, infamous Finn. At least I got an idea. I am good. I am. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just one liner and 
Tschüss, Mit! <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Des? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? That's what I want to do after this mission. I don't know. Uh, after we pay this fine, let's see. He's gonna say Contraxia, Contraxia again. Contraxia? I am good. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. I am good. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Uh, why don't we ever get me- Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Viking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Let's face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender's... Oh, no. oh, no. That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Still doing this! Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good boys! Gone to Mako 4. Hey, 
Check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking Half World. I think I'm scared of some little. But Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. Creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. All tails, shoot stuff. Words to live by. There's a trail going through the jungle! Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it and all. Great, we made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we can lower that wing somehow. There they are, wing controls. All right, Rocket, that wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Mark, that don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either.
place is a flark and maze. All those trees look like... Like giant strings of saltwater taffy. What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious and it melts in your mouth. And looks like a tree, apparently. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Drax, think this is a sign from Lady Hellbender? We are clearly not wanted on this planet. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. The name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. Hey, what about her sister, Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. Right, right. That, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization. The only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. The depressions are deep. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. Uh, even with Groat? Okay, maybe. That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What, what are you- do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! <laughs> It'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's ah! okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh... I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I think he's making them up. Box. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free bag and flark holes! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, dashed face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want ten! Okay, deal! We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. Shooting your way out of every challenge you get, Peter? I do. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling the ice oh. up, people, incoming! <laughs> Get there! 
I yearn for monsters. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be... a path here somewhere why are we so sure this is the way all right Gamora research this way 50 units says it ain't I... no way are we almost there still got like half a planet to walk across Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides sure she could or she would have flown over the mountains oh she flies now I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else would cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one just go. No, you just someone go! Someone go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. We need something to get up to those cables, Peter. Do you see anything on the wreck that can help? 
starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodents' lives. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. And voila! So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. So rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. Feels like yesterday, and all the worst ways. What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Really? I can cut those cables, I just need a way up. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Are we sure we want to go back up? I'm getting used to not being completely soaked. Perhaps the storm will have abated. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. What do you think made this place worth fighting over? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ships we've seen just got taken down by the storms. You think this place was like a secret base? When will the wing collapse so that we may exit this vexatious pit? Apparently, we're waiting for nature to destroy it for us. You see? This is what happens when we start winging stuff. Because the wing could be a, a bridge. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots to bring it down. Alright, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. Got it, Drax. Right about there. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. What next, Peter Quill? This brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Looks like there's a way down here. Well, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in it. Okay, here we go! Oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? You think? Some smack breach! 
sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Well, Glasses, they only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scud like this. Just, you, just please, let guns me, alone. Let me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA coding is going to put some kind of morphing nano or sorcery. Here we go again. Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. It's the planetoid. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. It would give us some steps to climb. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. Rocket, you can fit through that hole. It is more stubborn than expected. Ah, impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. You gotta find a way to lock it in place. I did it! Impressive. Well, now we gotta get the next one out. out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello? Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms? 
But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Ah, oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, you okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Clark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? Yeah. And dry now, too! There. Now we have our way up. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender's... Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? Some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Will's the greatest explorer I ever met. You know, you guys should take my ideas more seriously. I do have augmented intelligence. divided by nine thousand five hundred and twelve. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Go off. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout-type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we, uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. <sighs> Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? Anyone but Drax? I just heard that she's fair but terrifying. Make of that what you will. It suggests we have some room to haggle. Unless she decides to kill us. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again and I paint these cliffs gray. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Ugh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Huh. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will not this. That is disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? 
Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Later. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got monster food. Your taste, the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our. Our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? It? Uh, the tentacle thing. Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. That thing heavy, Quill? Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no, it would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching bolt. <laughs> Neat. Don't get any ideas. says we should check things out over here. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 
What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the fuck? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So, we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you blue? Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the fuck thing is looking like we mean business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy? Menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me, but maybe it responds good to soothing tones. Fire song or something we can sing to kill the time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9, 2.1, 0 0.3 clicks, 4.5, 0 0.4 clicks, 0 0.5 clicks, 0 0.6 clicks. Stop counting clicks! We could enumerate all the ways in which our class, 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 class
13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. We'll bring with it many Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so. Full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I wanna go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I know. was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. <sighs> I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse.
Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right?